this one we're going to answer pretty quickly. Um, I'd love recommendations on a good homeschool curriculum for my preschooler age three. And Abby, I'm going to let you answer this. But before you answer it, I'm going to say we just recorded an episode all about preschool with Leslie Richards from the Homegrown Preschooler. Um, And so she answers this question pretty well, but Abby, I'm going to let you jump on this oh, really I quickly. Hope I, I hope I don't answer it differently than her. <laughs> no, it's okay. okay. Yeah, I'm sure you, um, I, I know you won't because okay. I just interviewed her and okay. <laughs> I know where you stand on this because you stand where I stand. Wonderful. Okay. So I think the, the word we have to get rid of in your question is that I love recommendations on a good homeschool curriculum for my preschool. So what I'm not going to do is give you recommendations on a good homeschool curriculum for your preschooler because your three-year-old is three and we need to throw out curriculum because your three-year-old doesn't need curriculum. Your yeah. three-year-old needs read to mm-hmm. as much as you can possibly read. Your three-year-old needs talked to, play with Play-Doh, play with games, take them on adventures, read to them. I'm going to say that 15 times. <laughs> um, there is no evidence, and I'm, I'm an early childhood. I have my elementary ed degree, and I got a, an emphasis in early childhood development. And there is really no evidence that says that if you use a formal academic curriculum in those early years, and I'm even talking kindergarten, Mm -hmm. um, there's no evidence that your kids are going to academically be any more quote unquote successful than kids that didn't. But there is unbelievable amounts of evidence that will say that if you read to your child and interact with your child through verbal communication and play games with them, they will be far ahead of their peers. So that's, I'm not going to go too much into it because there's going to be a whole podcast on it, but I would say Would you just take your three-year-old and snuggle that three-year-old on your lap and just do life with them and not worry about the curriculum? That is my greatest advice. Yep. And my um, guess is the mom that asked this, this is your first kid at three. Because we all asked that with our first kid. Um, And then we all realized, don't do that. (laughs) Right. Right. Yes. Um, I'm trying to remember exactly how he said it, but when um, Kurt Cameron was on um, for Homegrown Generation and someone asked him a question about curriculum and he said something something to the effect of the parent is the best curriculum oh, um, I love for that. your child. Yes. And, um, and it's true. We are their curriculum, you know, and, so, and Leslie really does answer it the same way that you do. I mean, oh, she's good. literally written a book about preschoolers and she says, awesome. it, you know, it's through play, it's through exploration, yes. it's through, yes. you know... Um, interacting with your kids that's how they learn do not sit your three-year-old down at a table and expect them to copy letters and do worksheets and here's the thing if you do not only can they not but you are going to rob that child of the love of learning you're going to kill their love of learning before they're ever even actually school age right and i've seen it happen time and time again you get a first grader who hates school and that's because they've been sat down for the last three years trying to do school when they never should have so right just right now, just instill in them a love for learning. Don't kill that with worksheets and curriculum. Right, right. And and um, I used to be a preschool teacher. And let me just tell you, we didn't have a set no, curriculum. No. We literally, we read to the kids several times a day. We had, you know, our reading hour. Yeah. They played dress up. They played with yeah. toys. They played outside. They, like, they just explored. They played, with, like you said, with Play-Doh. I mean, right. those were the things that they did. They, we did not make them sit down. And we would, you know, we had flashcards and we would sit and say, you know, A says A, ah, B yeah. says B. But you really know, we not would do even those at things. three necessarily. That's more like four right. or five. Right. Yeah, that, you're right. That was like three, four or five. Three, they're not three even is, able to, yeah. to but put even, that stuff together. Yep. Even four and five, you know. Yeah. It's not it's not necessary yet. No, yeah. if they're expressing an interest in wanting to learn how to read yeah. or wanting to learn their letters and things like that or colors. Then point of, them by, out um, to them. Definitely. Yeah. Um, but yeah, my it's husband not always necessary. says I have my master's in coloring and play doh. Right, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're out of time for part two. Yay. We are going to be back again with part three to answer um, the last couple of questions that we awesome. have. Thank you guys again for joining us. We love you, and we will see you back here. I think tomorrow. Woo-hoo. Okay, see you then. Bye.